Well, hello, YouTube. So nice to see you all. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. I absolutely appreciate you. If this is your first time, maybe you'll consider hitting that like and subscribe button after you're done with this video. Well, today I'm going to be talking to you all about a crop that I almost forgot to plant again. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it in a sec. Okay, so that crop was cucumbers, okay? So, uh, listen, two years ago, I grew the Richmond Green Apple variety. Loved it. Spent the whole summer um, eating them like apples. I mean, I just picked one every morning before work and I sat at my desk and I ate it like an apple. It was so good. I loved those um, cucumbers. They did really good for me. I had succession planted them. And then the following year, um, which was last year, I forgot to get some seeds started. And before I knew it, my window had closed. It was too late. So no cucumbers for me last year. And that's a no-no because cucumbers are definitely one of my favorite veggies. So cucumbers do really well in uh, full sun. I mean, you could get them, I would say, as little as five hours a day and they would still do pretty good for you. I mean, obviously more would be better, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And cucumbers appreciate the warm temperatures. Around here right now, at least this week, we have been in the upper 70s to the mid 80s all week and if i had any cucumbers out they would be loving this weather but i don't have any out yet i'm going to start some seeds in my arrow garden and then i'm also going to start some seeds out here in the dirt too right because i want to have backups <laughs> Up until now, I have only ever grown cucumbers in containers. And I can tell you from experience that it works. And uh, if you look at some of my videos from two years ago, you'll see that Richmond green apple variety of um, cucumber growing out there just fine and giving me all kinds of great fruit. But I was growing them in a 18 gallon container <clears throat> that I got from Walmart, it was five bucks. You certainly don't need to buy a container that big for uh, cucumbers. Um, in fact, I think you could probably even go down as far as a five gallon bucket and still be good to go with cucumbers. So, if things go in my favor, fingers crossed, eyes crossed, legs crossed, I don't know, all of them. Um, I'm gonna be planting in ground pretty soon, right? So if I get this house that I'm working on, I'll be planting in ground pretty soon. But, uh, cucumbers are heavy feeders, right? So they take a lot of food, they take a lot of sun, and they take a lot of water too, which stands to reason because, you know, cucumbers are something like 95% water anyway. <laughs> so yeah, they need lots and lots of water and they need lots and lots of sun. Come to think of it, with uh, cucumbers being like 95 96% water I'm pretty sure now don't quote me on this but I'm pretty sure that cucumbers might top the list for the highest water content in all vegetables maybe but it's got to be up there it's up there you know with like tomatoes and celery big water 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 loving plants but don't quote me on that but I do believe cucumbers is way out there if it ain't number one it's number two or number three uh, which also makes it great for you know hydrating us and doing all kinds of lovely things for our bodies also something to keep in mind cucumbers don't actually have to be ingested they're actually really good for our skin too with all that water content it could be very uh, hydrating it can be cooling to the skin um, that's why you see people using it around their eyes it like hydrates the eyes and the surrounding tissue. It's good for that. Um, cucumbers uh, can help with bloating and constipation, although I didn't really get the relief out of it, but I've read that other people have. I did try it, didn't work for me, but 
Doesn't mean it won't work for you. Give it a go. It could help you out with bloating or constipation. So I'm looking to probably give them a slow release fertilizer. Um, right now I have that uh, on hand. I have um, the Pro Mix Premium Fertilizer. And you could either put it in the soil or you could um, uh, dissolve it in water. Um, I've always, since I've had it, I've been using it in water. But I think this time, it will be my first time trying to use it um, in the soil with the plant. So wish me luck with that. Although, I'm pretty sure it'll work. I, I, I know who I got the idea from and hers worked. I don't see why mine wouldn't. So I'm going to give it a try and we'll watch and see how that goes. So, if I give my plants the slow release fertilizer, I will also um, water them with fish emulsion. If I do that and then I give it the right sun um, and obviously plenty of water, then I should have some pretty good yields. I hope. But speaking of yields, they'll be better if you harvest your fruit often, harvest regularly. Cucumbers is one of those things where the more you harvest, the more it puts out, right? So picking regularly really encourages more fruit production, which then obviously increases your yield. So when you see something on there, don't let it sit. Take that bad boy off. Go ahead and go make yourself some pickles or something. <laughs> Cucumbers are super versatile, right? Like you could use those in salads, on sandwiches, in drinks you can ferment them you could pickle them you could do all kinds of stuff with them. my favorite recipe is i found this from i think the website is called an affair from the heart and it's called a cucumber salsa oh my goodness it is unlike anything i've ever tasted and i didn't think i would like it when i looked at the ingredients list Oh my gosh, I love it. Like, I don't even eat it like salsa. I seriously go ahead and just chop it up like a big salad and then throw like a protein on it or something, you know, throw some chicken or some shrimp or something. And I eat it like a meal. I've never even used it as a salsa. Although thinking about it, it probably would taste really good with like some salty, you know, tortilla chips or something like that. If a type of salsa isn't your type of hype, then there's always the tried and true homemade pickles. I have yet to make a batch of pickles that I absolutely love, right? Like I've, I've made some that I thought were okay, but none that I was like, oh, I got to go back and get that recipe. Um, because truthfully, homemade pickles just wind up being way too vinegary for me. And recently I found out that um, I was trying to dilute it a little bit with more water. Turns out the best option, if you think that uh, homemade pickles are too vinegary, the best option is to go ahead and use sugar and water instead of trying to water it down. We'll see. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a try because, you know, I'm going to have my cucumbers and I want to give it a try. That is one of the things I want to be able to put up for myself. So if I could, you know, grow my own it has something comparable in flavor or at least something good, something that doesn't make me go. If I could do that, that would be ideal. I don't know if you know this, but there are over a hundred varieties of cucumbers. And I was looking through my stash. I got eight of them, eight of them myself. <laughs> That's that's really not a lot when you're talking about a hundred, but still, <laughs> there are all kinds of uh, cucumbers out there. They come in different colors, different flavors. Some are burpless, some are seedless. I mean, and everything in between. Like, there's the variety there. You know, you're pickling cucumbers, you're slicing cucumbers. Um, your snack cucumbers, your cocktail cucumbers. Regardless of what variety of cucumber I'm gonna be growing, I will definitely be succession planting it, meaning that I will start some seeds and then two weeks later, start some more seeds and maybe two weeks later, start some more seeds. Um, mostly because in my area, my cucumbers get picked off pretty quick. If it's not by the bugs, it's by the um, the mildew. And so, you know, I'll just go ahead, instead of fighting with them, 
I will go ahead and I'll just pull the plant and pull out another one and just keep doing that as long as I can so that I can keep getting the harvest and, you know, prolonging my prolonging my harvest and season. I'm sure there's plenty more uh, medicinal uses for cucumbers, but uh, I had to leave some of the research for you guys to do for yourself. So tell me, are you gonna be growing cucumbers this year? What varieties are you gonna be growing? And be sure to leave your favorite recipe, tips and tricks for cucumbers in the comments and we can all learn from each other. All right, friends, so until the next video, I hope you all stay happy and healthy and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.